So a short word on OBL or opaque bubble layer. This is gas escape outside the dissection plane. And we're seeing that here in the white air that's expanding away from the flap hinge as the lamella cut progresses. OBL doesn't seem to affect treatment results in LASIK, but it can interfere with cyclotorsional registration and tracking. So many of us use the spatula compression technique, which I'm going to show you here. And I first saw presented by Coleman Kraft from Chicago in Paris over 10 years ago. So we're breaking into the dissection plane there and immediately wiping away some of the gas that's escaped into the residual stromal bed making sure the epithelium is well lubricated to minimize any epithelial trauma during the spatula pass, which we're seeing here. And then passing the spatula from the other side, using the double spatula technique as usual to elevate the flap and lay it carefully over the pillow sponge. Then wiping away a little bit of fluid from the interface at the bottom before we clean the spatula and then come back to rub quite firmly over the area of OBL and iron the gas out of the residual stromal bed, in particular clearing over the pupil area so we're getting a good clean lock on with the excima laser tracker in the subsequent ablation. So we're going to complete that pass right across the superior bed there, ironing out the OBL until that residual stromal bed's looking reasonably clear. And then we're ready for a single spatula pass across the stromal bed to homogenize tissue hydration prior to locking on the tracker and starting the ablation. And there we are at the end of surgery, ironing out the fluid from the interface with the semi-dry sponge technique that we've shown you in the flap handling video. You can reduce OBL by minimizing applanation pressure and modulating treatment parameters. And it's increasingly a problem that's being engineered out of modern femtolaser systems. But when OBL does occur, this is a useful strategy for minimizing any associated problems.